What is up everyone? It's Joe from Get Good Drums and I thought I would make a little walkthrough video of our new update to Get Good Drums Studio Cabzilla Edition. That is the 1.1.6 update. So the first thing you'll see when you open up the update is our new and improved uh, user interface. I know that the looks of a plugin don't make it sound better, but it certainly helps uh, to look at something nice. Uh, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, so if you're not familiar with the plugin, I'll just do a really brief overview. Um, this is basically an impulse response loader for impulse responses uh, captured by Nolly of loads of different Zilla cabs each with different uh, speakers and microphone selections you can choose from. So how do you use it? You basically want to record the uh, amp head signal without the cab. So you could either just take that out from your guitar head uh, or take a modeler and turn off the cab. Or if you're using some amp software, you can disable the cab section in that. So it's just the amp head tone, which should sound something horrific like this. And then you load up studio cabs on the channel and lo and behold, now you've got something gorgeous like this. So cab impulse responses have a drastic effect on the characteristics of your tone. I'll just sort of switch between some presets here. So you can hear how it's the same amp source, but just with different cabs, it completely changes the uh, character of your tone. So now that's done, uh, we'll get into what's new with the update. There are two new features and a bunch of fixes and optimizations. Um, so I'll start with the features. The one I want to talk about first is the master EQ switch you can see here. So what this does basically, it um, so there's kind of two steps to it really. Uh, the first step is it applies the same EQ curve across all the cabs, which is designed to uh, increase the clarity and reduce the general harshness of the IRs. And then for each cab, there's sort of specific uh, EQ sweetening going on, which like reduces some peaks and just a little bit of touches here and there. This is something I definitely recommend just having on all the time. The effect is quite subtle, so it's not going to be drastic, but it's definitely going to just sweeten your tones up a little bit more so that they fit into your mixes that much more perfectly. So I'll uh, just flip it on and off so you can hear what that sounds like. So what I'm hearing there is it's taking out some mud and just adding some clarity and a little bit of bite. This isn't designed to replace like the EQ on your master bus output or anything. This is definitely designed to be part of your guitar chain, uh, even before your guitar bus. So for someone like me, where like I'm definitely not sort of a mix engineer, mixing professional, this these kind of little tools to help me along the way are so useful and just take me that step further in making my productions sounding great. So hopefully you'll find that useful. The next feature I wanna talk about is this export region here. So this is if you want to export your IR blends and use them on hardware. Different hardware has different specifications for what the IR files need to be. Um, and we added this to accommodate that. So some hardware needs it to be 500 milliseconds long and other hardware needs it to be 1000 milliseconds long. So find out what your hardware needs before you export them. Just make sure to click one of those two and then export and then you'll be able to load them into your hardware. We've also added this nice resize button. I know some of you are wanting that. So now you've got it. And then um, behind the scenes, there's also some bug fixes. So I know there was a issue with Cubase, putting this on a stereo bus and having your settings recall. That's now being fixed. And some VST2 and VST3 bug fixes. And there's also been just some general performance optimizations under the hood done also. So it should run easier on your computer. So that's kind of it. I hope you're loving the update as much as we are. If you're an existing customer, you should have been emailed instructions and a link on how to download it. But if you haven't found that, first check your spam. But then you can also just go to getgooddrums.com slash pages slash download to get the installer. And if you haven't bought this software before, now is actually a great time because we are running um, a sale on it for $10 off. 
So make sure to head to getgooddrums.com and pick it up. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, that might not apply anymore. There you go. We hope you love it as much as we do. We've had really great feedback already on this update and we're really stoked on it. So go out there and enjoy rad guitar tones. All right, see you next time.